now I identify myself as being technology. I'm not wearing or using it. I feel that I am technology. I identify myself as a cyborg and as a trans species. The antenna actually vibrates depending on the light frequencies in front of me and then gives me vibrations depending on the light. So then I feel colors in my head and these vibrations become sounds, so I actually hear the sounds of color. And my aim was to create a new sense for color because I was born completely colorblind, so I wanted to have a sense of color without changing my sight. So at the beginning, adding this new sense was overwhelming because it, it was new input constantly because color is everywhere, so I was uh, overwhelmed. It was really tiring and I had strong headaches, but I did, never stopped uh, the input so that hoping that the brain would get used to it. And it took like five months uh, to really feel that it was a new sense. Actually five weeks for the headaches to go away, but then five months to really feel that it was a new sense. And also when I started to dream with this new sense, that's when I felt that I was uh, united to cybernetics when the brain started to create the sound of colors and the vibrations of color. Ultraviolet gives me information whether or not it's a good day or bad day to sunbathe. So if I sense high levels of ultraviolet, I put cream or I avoid the sun. And infrared allows me to know if there's movement detectors in a room, for example. The third one is the body and the other thing is the mind. You can extend your mind beyond your body. And that's I'm, I'm doing it uh, by using the internet as a sense. So the fact that people can send colors to my head means that my sense of color can be in other parts of the world. So if there's a beautiful sunset in Australia, my friend can stream live images from his mobile phone to my head so I could be here but be sensing the sunset of Australia. Or when I connect to satellites, my sense of color can be in space. So my body can be here, but my sense of color can be in space. Yeah, it's changed how I perceive myself and life and earth and space. It's changed how I sense I, how I've sensed my species basically as well, because now I see that we are all actually able to design what species we want to be during our lifetime. We can decide what evolution we want to have during our lifetimes. So I think that's something we'll start seeing this century. I mean, we are all trans species. We had different senses before. We were once bacteria, then we were the species that lived in the ocean, then we were living on trees, so there is dormant senses and I think cybernetics can actually awake them. Hopefully, maybe when I'm old, this will be organic, so I'll have uh, the antenna will be 3D printed with my DNA and uh, the sense of ultraviolet and infrareds can be genetically added. If I modify myself genetically, it will be inevitable that they will, they might inherit a sense or an organ. It's not that far from happening. So there'll be children being born with senses that are not uh, traditionally from our species. And I think the less we change our environment and the more we change ourselves, then uh, the better our planet will be as well. <laughs>